Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are back again with a streak of zero. Oh my god, what did we get up to? What did we get up to? Uh, stats is it? Best streak 33. Ugh. It was good. We did a decent job of it, but god damn. Uh, that run was tragic, but it does mean that now we can move on to doing some modded characters, which is always fun. Um, I think we're going to start out with a bit of Andromeda and then move our way through and just play through the modded characters. I'm just going to go through all the modded and tainted modded characters that I've got here. Um, and then we can reinstall some of the ones like the deleted and stuff that I haven't played in a little while too. But f let's just start out with a little Andromeda run. And I will say... It is a little nice to, to have the relief of not having the streak anymore. Because the runs, although I was really enjoying the streak, goddamn, every run was such a stressful experience. Like, honestly, it was so goddamn stressful. Um, and yeah, like I said, it means we can play some modded characters now because I'm not feeling as much of a risk to the streak. But we'll try and rebuild a new one, hopefully. Uh, enemies have a chance to glow upon entering a room looking at glowing enemies passes the effect onto you giving you a stat boost while under the effects gravity shift it maybe yeah i'm glad i did that i'm glad i did that i didn't really know what that what that item was about and i've had it before and it's not been very good and it says while looking directly at an enemy but that doesn't really work for our character because we don't we don't fire by looking directly at enemies so it doesn't really yeah, work as well so i thought Let's undo that and go for something a bit different here. Go for this. Oh my lord. Quite the chunk of change there, baby. Quite the chunk of change there. But as for the question of the day. Mm -mm -mm. Question of the day. Who's playing Starfield? And if you're not playing Starfield, what are you playing right now? I've I've not got it yet. I, I it, it was tempting, but for one, I've, I'm I'm still playing Baldur's Gate at the minute, um, and I really don't want to like buy another big game and then sort of forget about Baldur's Gate. I want to try and finish that. Um, but the other thing as well is it's a Bethesda game. It's gonna launch really buggy, um, and also I'll play it on PC, which means that eventually the modding scene is gonna be incredible. Um, so I'm gonna try my best to hold off until the modding scene has uh has grown a bit. Oh, come on. Yes, I got it. Nice one. Uh, wait a little bit until the modding scene has grown a little bit. Um, and then once there's some really shit hot mods out there that, like, do some cool stuff, then I'll uh, I'll get the game. Because it does look like a pretty good game. There definitely is some, like, bugs and glitches I've seen online and some complaints people have. But overall, it seems like a pretty decent Bethesda title. Like, a lot of people are like, oh my god, this is broken, or this is basic, or this is simple, or this doesn't meet expectations. It's like, bro, have you played a Bethesda game before? This is standard practice for Bethesda these days. Like, come on now. Like, Skyrim. If, if you look at Skyrim when you compare it to, like, Daggerfall and Morrowind and stuff, there's a bunch of features that they made way more simple and basic and, like, dumbed down to make them easier to understand. Like, Bethesda's been doing that shit for years, and people are like, whoa, I can't believe it. It's like, come on now. Have you played Bethesda games before? Really? I saw someone who was well recently. There's been obviously a lot of like stupid complaints going around recently too. And I saw someone that was like, um, oh, I can't play Starfield. It's just too political. I'm going to go back and play Skyrim. It's like, are you, what? You're saying that Skyrim isn't political? Are you a moron? <laughs> are you an actual moron? Oh my God. Skyrim is so political. There's literally a civil war as, as a major part of the story of the game with a lot of connotations alleging to real world stuff um oh god that seems risky but i'm gonna take it uh yeah let's just go i'm gonna say it. i was just like baffled by that i'm like come on now <laughs> are you silly are you silly hey planetarium early on that's nice petrified poop there i'm gonna stick with my gmo thingy seems interesting right see what we've got going in the planetarium Neptunus, hell yes. I will take that in a heartbeat. Just means we can start off every room with a nice uh, suite of tears. And the good thing is they stick around. They're not just like, oh, I can't just like fire them and miss them. I, I get them all and then release them and they're hovering around me until they hit an enemy. They're always going to get used in some capacity. Very nice, it's very nice. We've almost got enough for a shop here. Kind of an interesting room design here. Yeah, I always want to, like, get Neptunus going. A few hearts there. No, thank you. 
Don't fire off your stingers, please. Thank you. Wait for my tears to subside. I can use gravity shift to also stop them, but hey her. Not what I was expecting, to be honest, but there you go. Just take out the big poop boy. Do you know as well, I just want to ask as well, is there any, like, classic game that from, like, the GameCube era or, like, PS2 or any of that sort of consoles, classic game that you, like, still play to this day fairly regularly and really enjoy? Just because I've been playing a game on my PS4 recently that's, um, I say recently, I've been playing it for years um, on and off, but I've recently started playing it again. Um, that's a, a sort of a port of a classic PS2 game, and oh my god, it's so good. Um... So I think, I think the, the play here is we grab this and we use it until we get enough money to um, buy Steam Sale. Shouldn't be long. Haven't had a single pill pop yet from our uh, thingy and we'll buy this sack as well. Yeah, we've not had a single pill pop yet from our coins. Oh, we got some hearts there for some reason. Not quite sure why that is. Yeah, just a bunch of batteries, lovely. Right. Okie dokie. But yeah, uh, there's this game that I've been playing that's like a po that's been ported onto PS4, but it's still like the PS2 version of the game. And it's called Cell Damage um, HD or Cell Damage Overdrive, as otherwise known. And it is one of my favorite PS2 games ever. And it's so goddamn fun. It's such like a mindless fun game. Basically, it's a sort of arcadey, cartoony style demolition derby game. And oh my god, is it so much goddamn fun. And you can play it up to four people co-op. And it is an absolute blast to like, have people around and play it. It's like sort of Mario Kart-esque where you've got all the different power-ups you can use. And like you try to destroy cars and there's a few different game modes. It's like a, a, a race rally. There's like a one where it's like kill things as much as you can. Causes all enemies to defecate violently, push them around. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. Eh. I could have probably removed that. Using my uh, active item, actually. Can I still do that? I don't think I can, can I? I think once I picked up the item, yeah. I probably should have done that, actually. Oh, well. Um, and yeah, I've been playing it a bit more recently, uh, just as a something to pass the time. And honestly, it's just so good. It's just so good. Like, I know that it's like a really stereotypical thing to say, but they just don't make games like that anymore. <laughs> they, they definitely do, but like, it just, oh, I just miss it. It's like, it's got such style to it as well. We've got a good few bombs here, so let's uh, let's do a few of these. See, it was reasonably worthwhile. We got some of our bombs back at least. Right, cool. Right, boss time. Wait until the ghosty spawns. Oh god, yeah. <clears throat> kind of knew I was going to get hit there. Whee! Don't really get how this is a tier 2 active item, I'll be honest. It doesn't feel very tier 2. Feels kind of tier 1. Okay, luckily this guy's very easy to hit. Nicely done, nicely done. And we get this, which is not very good. And we'll go angel deal here. Hey, we got the all stats so. up. Overall, we're in the positive with this coin. We got the speed up there. That's the pill. Finally took a pill. That took a while. What makes you larger isn't great. Okay. I think we're good to go. That one makes you larger wasn't ideal. But anyways, down we go. Feeling good. Yeah, it's just one of those games that's just like, oh, it feels like my childhood. <laughs> I'm sure that I have a certain level of just nostalgia for it, and that's why I'm enjoying it so much, but I just think it's a great game that everyone should play. It's actually better with, um, with Neptunus here to tap shoot. I think I'm firing more shots by tap shooting a bunch. Hopefully we can get our shop going here. I mean, we have Steam Sale now as well, so we should be able to buy a lot from the shops. Lovely. Yeah, I don't really know when to use this brown horn thingy. Like, it creates some dips and stuff, and it stuns stuff, but overall, I just don't see the value too much. 
I guess is the problem. Right, wait for these tears go. Hey, soul heart back, lovely. And we get th throwable item, Chris. Th this is actually pretty good. I'll take this over that because I've, I've used this before and I've, I've liked it. So I'm happy to take this mushroom on our journey with us. Basically, you throw it. It creates a pretty massive radius of confusion uh, that lasts a good while. Um, and it's two room charge as well. It's, it's, it's pretty good in my opinion. Oh, dude, so many active items. What's going on? Oh, God, there's still a crab around. I didn't realize. Didn't realize we still had a crab to deal with. Luckily, we're killing stuff very easily here. Dude, what's with all the battery charges as well? Oh, my God. Can these guys pop their head up while this? Yeah, they can. Okay, they just don't shoot when they do. Oh, come on, dude. You did shoot, though. Nice. Key, I don't really want that right now. Have we seen that item room yet? I don't remember. I feel like we have, and it was just another active item. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty much a permanent state for us right now. But you see what I mean? This is pretty goddamn useful, right? I'm going to take pills. Yeah, I gotta say, balls of steel. I'm going to take pills here, considering we've got this trinket. I'm going to be taking pills whether we want to or not, so why not figure out what they are? Look down is not one that I want to take, though. Explosive boy is done with. Don't know how much I'll get out of that mushroom cloud there. Probably not a ton. Oh, dude. I, bon I bonked that guy into myself there. I had a feeling I was going to take damage. So, okay, that balls of steel has made me feel way better about my current HP, so I'm not that bothered. Good. Really don't know where I'm going at the moment. Oh, God. <sighs> Put myself in a bad position there. I hate these little dudes that sit in the water. One of the enemies I like least in this game. They're, they feel like they're really hard to avoid sometimes. Just because of that look. They reach so goddamn far and they still split into shots. Right, item room is not something that I want. Um, so I'll take some rerolls here. D4, not particularly interested. God's flesh, definitely not interested. Rubber cement? Rubber cement do anything for us? I guess maybe it does? I don't know. It might... It... Basically, all I'm thinking is it, 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 ma it makes your tears bounce off of enemies, which I think is useful for us. It's kind of like pseudo-piercing. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm going to call it that. Secret room here, maybe. Oh, hello. Oh, well, that guy died instantly. Unintended, but lovely. Yeah, nice few uh, wisps here. I like that. Only thing is, it does mean that our tears no longer uh, pass through walls. Good, we've got another Tinted Rock up there. Tinted Rock's galore at the moment. I'm happy about it. I don't really understand why, but certainly happy about it. Have we seen the shop? I can't remember. I think it was just another active item, wasn't it? Did, uh, was it? Was it this mushroom that we got from our shop? It might well be. It might well be. But yeah, we're killing stuff pretty quick right now. I think this setup's going reasonably well. There you go. No angel deal yet. Range is not terrible for us, I don't think, but it's obviously not great. And we just keep this power moving. Keep this run of rolling. One second. Right, let's keep this moving. Oh, 
almost walk straight into that one. Yeah, I just love the mushroom whenever it's available, pretty much. It's always going to be somewhat useful. Because a lot of stunned enemies either don't move correctly or don't shoot at all. Pills. We're on a pill kind of run right now. Oh, hello. Don't know if I need you. Mini Isaacs come along now. Ugh. One of these douches. Yeah, I, kinda, I think rubber cement was a good idea, you know. This is working out nicely for us. Chests giving us a lot of stuff as well. Halo flies, it's not great, but it's something that gives us a bit of defense. Lovely. Rinsing through some of these rooms at the minute. Honestly, Neptunus is so nice with the tap shooting. Balls of Steel again, awesome. Yeah, Neptunus just with tap shooting, we're firing so many additional shots. Yeah, Rubber Cement. I like Rubber Cement, it's working out nicely. Another Tinted Rock, dude, what is going on right now? And nah. I'm kind of liking the trinket I've got right now, even though the chance to um, drop pills... It does say scales with luck, but the chance seems super low even still. We're almost for luck now. It still seems really low. Right. The, the um, confusion there worked out really well. There you go, Pin's dead. We've got a double trouble boss here, but didn't really make much of a difference, did it? There you go. Easy. Hey, and a damage up. I've been waiting for that. And in uncleared rooms, light beams will strike in random positions marked by a crosshair. Light, beam, uh, light beams damage enemies and inflict burn, but damage the player too. Spawns two friendly orbitals and ghost familiars when entering a new floor. Uh, on you, sacrifice one orbital ghost. Eh, we'll try this out. It seems interesting. It seems interesting. Nice. Not really used this book before, but willing to try something new. Oh, dude, these light beams are fucking everywhere. So I can sacrifice my ghosts for something, but I'm not really sure what. Where's the last goddamn enemy? Oh, there you are. It's just a champion, that's all. So I can sacrifice these ghosts for something, and I'm not quite sure what. I didn't realize there'd be so many of these marks. God damn, another planetarium, lovely. Good. This planetarium is going to be Mercurius. Um, I'm going to gravity shift that. I don't think that's super useful. Oh, and we get this thing back. Um... Oh, we take friend folio. I guess I'll take friend folio. That wasn't a particularly useful usage of that there. I'm not particularly happy with that. But Mercurius, it's nice. The speed upgrade is okay. But the opening doors thing, I just don't see it being that valuable for us. Another look down. It really wants to take look downs, doesn't it? Another tinted rock. Overall, this is an interesting item, definitely. Very intriguing indeed. Uh, one second. I should have just paused the video at this point, or else it's going to take so long. I really apologize. <laughs> Keep making our way back. 
Okay. Yeah, at this point, we're clearing rooms pretty goddamn fast now. I like that. Oh, dude, I've moved this chest in the wrong way. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't really know what it meant about sacrificing my ghost. I guess maybe I'll try it in this room. Ooh, I got two items there. Oh, dude, you know, um, Flatstone might actually be really good for us here, because I think our tears are going to... Um... Oh, well. No, they still, they, still, they still travel the same range. I thought that we wasn't traveling as far then. Um, I think they'll do, like, splash damage as they go. So sacrifice one of our ghosts here. Does it just stop the lasers coming down for a little while? I don't know. I feel like there's less tears on screen now that I've picked up Flatstone. Is that true? I feel like they're not lasting as long. It definitely feels like they're not lasting as long. But, they might be doing more damage overall because they now do splash damage too. It looks like they're doing more damage. Because they're bouncing multiple times as they travel. But I think overall they just don't sit, down as well, sit around as long. One second. Right, keep this moving. Moon card, I think I'll just pop. Yeah, I think Flatstone is overall good. It's kind of hard to tell. Ooh, dude. Got a bunch of pills going there. Kind of interesting that I'm getting look-up pills, which increases my chances of using more pills when I uh, walk into money. When I get money. The sun's rather nice here, too. Shop is good. We've got a lot of money. Beth, right? Um, grants the spur transformation if you don't have it already. Using gravity shift in a treasure room now always takes you to a real planetarium. Nice. That's spurred. Lovely. Spurred's pretty good stuff. And we can go to a real planetarium um, if we use thingy in our, in our item room. Unless our item ends up being really good. Ooh, I like the fact that our little stars bounce as well. It's cute. Demon baby. Yes, please. Give me that demon baby. Yeah, okay. nice. Ooh, this could be good. Indeed it is. Actually, that didn't really do much for us, but still. I'm going to say that it was good still. Oh god, I finally got hit by one of the lasers. So if I come in here and I don't like the item, which eh, it's not great, I'm going to gravity shift. And soul... Obviously isn't a great planetarium item, but it's fine. It does some good stuff. We've only got one more item room left, unfortunately, so... We do have flight now as well, which is nice. Ooh, how does this function with us here? Okay, this might be better. This creates some real wacky stuff. With our tears. But it keeps them in the air a lot longer because of the much higher range, so... I'm thinking it'll be better overall, and it seems like it is. Fraudulent fungus. And down we go. Good, good, good. And pop the sun card in here. That didn't really help on killing this room very quick, did it? Ah, oh, for God's sake, I got hit by that. Sacrifice one of my ghosts. It literally just stops the lasers. It's mo mostly a passive item more than anything. We got a planetarium here. I like that. And we get ourselves Venus, which I quite like. Walked right into that guy. Okay. Item room is all the way over there. Just beeline it straight to it. Hehehe, <laughs> I'm liking this run a lot. <laughs> this run's pretty wacky. How am I not hitting this guy? There you go. I'm liking this run a lot. Oh my god, so many lasers, it's insane. The big rooms, it just covers the entire room. 
going to get another planetarium item. As long as my item isn't absolutely amazing, I'm definitely getting another planetarium. And look at look at the amount of space that's covered in lasers here. Obscene. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm going to get a self Saturnus here, which is real nice. And we can actually play this guy. I love the way it works with uh, Saturnus and the uh, ring shots like that bouncing around. Soul Heart, lovely. Trying to get a pay out of an item out of this guy, but they, they pay out with items pretty rarely. We got Leo there. We got ourselves um, more regular wisps. We've got quite a lot of regular wisps here. A few Lemmageddons. I think we just got one Lemmageddon of Leo right now, actually. Oh, there you go. We got uh, Virgo there. And then we got... Terra, I think that is. I think we've got two Leos in there right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, this is rather spicy. Rather spicy indeed. I don't know where all those pennies came from. God, the rocks are actually making things a bit laggy. Oh, dude, why did they do full heart damage? How dare they? I don't have a key. God damn it. There's a look penny up there as well. We're going to grab that. Nice. That looks really good right now. I don't have any money anyway, so I don't know why I was trying to go into the shop. Kind of forgot I spent it all on a beggar. My god, this is crazy. <laughs> Big fat brimstone boys, no thank you. The book barely gets a chance to do anything. I'm not in rooms long enough. Ow. Don't know where that explosion was from. Another pop of soul there. Guess I'll just take the Polaroid. Get me in that hole. God, this is kind of stressful now. <laughs> I kind of want to get rid of the rocks because it's it's just adding a lot of extra visual clutter and lag. At the same time, it is doing I am doing more damage because of it, so in that way it's not bad. But it is making things a little bit harder to see. Oh, bugger. Walked right, literally walked right into that one. Good. Extra key. They should probably pick up keys where I can. I'm going to need at least four of them. Ooh, that's a cool attack. I've not seen that before. I am just this literal planet with asteroids floating around me. Kind of beautiful. It's kind of laggy. <laughs> kind of hard because it's really hard to specifically get rid of a lemmigat and wisp you want to get rid of. We've got this eye guy. I'm not a big fan of him, to be honest. What? I don't even know how I was hit there, I'll be honest. It was definitely the laser beams that got me, but I didn't feel like I was anywhere near him. God, just try and stay out the way, but God knows if I can. Again, I got hit by the lasers, and I don't know how. This book is screwing me over. The game's too laggy <laughs> for me to play with these lasers. Spoon. This would be awful. 
because I'd hurt myself constantly. But because I don't care, I'm going to try it. And I'm not on a streak anymore. I just feel like it could be funny. <laughs> now we've got burning rocks flying around us. Like, is that not more fun? I've created nightmare fuel here. Yep, hurt myself already. Yep, <laughs> I've killed myself here. I literally can't not take damage. This is the fun of not having a streak. I can take these dumb, stupid decisions. Yep, we are literally dead. Ain't nothing we can do. <laughs> oh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, it feels good to be able to die. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.